Welcome to Intermediate German Grammar, presented by the German Studies Program at Elon University. In this presentation, you'll learn about helping verbs in the present perfect tense, which is also known as the compound past tense. When talking about things in the past, most often you will use the compound past tense, which is also known as the present perfect. Videos comparing the compound past and simple past and comparing German past tenses to English past tenses are in the playlist. A typical sentence in the compound past is composed of the following. The subject, which is the person or object doing the action. A helping verb, which you will learn about in this video. Words that say when, to whom, or for whom the action happened, as well as other words that add to the meaning of the sentence. For now, just think of this as the filler between the helping verb and the participle. And finally, the past participle, which is discussed in a different video. The topic for this video is helping verbs. First, we're going to define what a helping verb is. Once that's established, we'll look at how to choose the correct helping verb. Clauses in the compound past tense have two verbs, the helping verb and the past participle. These verbs always function together. The primary verb indicates the action. Note that the primary verb is in the past participle. For more on past participles, see the playlist. The helping verb is conjugated for the subject. The helping verb is called a helping verb because it helps, or supports, or sets up the primary verb at the end of the clause. Don't be confused by the fact that the helping verb is conjugated in the present tense. The combination of a helping verb and a past participle means that this sentence is in the past. Now that we've defined helping verbs, let's look at how to choose the correct one. The first step is to decide whether the subject did the action or had the action done to it. If the subject did not do the action, but rather had the action done to it, the proper helping verb is a past tense form of werden. Most of the time you'll choose wurde for singular subjects and wurden for plural subjects. This formation of werden and the past participle is known as the passive. To give an example, let's say you want to indicate that the Berlin Wall was built in 1961. Ask yourself whether the Berlin Wall did the action, or had the action done to it. The wall obviously did not build itself, so the answer to that question is no. This means that the correct helping verb is wurde. If the subject did the action, the second step is to decide whether the action represents a change of state or position. If the answer is no, then choose haben as the helping verb. If the answer is yes, Choose sein as the helping verb. Here are some examples to clarify the process. In the upper left, we want to say that the Berlin Wall was built. Ask yourself whether the wall performed the action. In other words, whether the wall did the construction itself, or whether the wall was built by someone else. Since the wall didn't do the action, the correct helping verb is wurde. In the image at the bottom, we want to say that Alex wrote a paper. The first step is to ask yourself whether Alex did the action. The answer is yes, so you go on to the second step, which is to ask yourself whether the action represents a change of state or position for Alex. The answer is no, Alex didn't move or become something different, so the correct helping verb is haben. In the upper right, the subject obviously did the action of getting out of bed, meaning that the helping verb isn't wurde. So, we go on to the second step, which is to ask yourself whether the action represents a change of state or position. The answer is yes. The person was asleep and lying down, and is now awake and getting out of bed. The correct helping verb is therefore sein. To wrap up, let's look at common errors to avoid when selecting the helping verb. The first common error to avoid is the use of haben as the helping verb when sein is called for. Remember to use sein when indicating a change of state or a change of position. The verb einschlafen, for example, represents a change of state from wakefulness to sleep. 
and therefore requires sein as the helping verb. The second common error to avoid is the use of war in place of wurde. This error is caused by the fact that English uses the verb was to create the passive, as you see on the screen. Remember that German uses wurde to create the passive, showing that the action happened to the subject. The third common error to avoid is overthinking the use of wurde. In the example on your screen, students sometimes reason that Essen represents a change of state for the hamburger and decide that the helping verb should therefore be wurde. This reasoning, although understandable, is incorrect. Instead, think about whether Essen represents a change of state for the subject, the woman eating the hamburger. Since Essen doesn't represent a change of state for her, the use of wurde here would be incorrect. Instead, haben is the right helping verb. That concludes our presentation. Thanks for watching. Be sure to visit us on the web or follow us on Facebook or Twitter.